this isn't really going to be uh, an inspirational video. This is gonna be a shorter video. And uh, it's a little bit darker than a lot of my other ones. Most of my other videos, they usually, well, they always have some type of, you know, positive, positive outlook. Something positive comes from it. I believe in positivity. I'm a very optimistic person. It's harder than you think. It's harder than you think to find what you truly want to do in life. Most people go through life just trying to survive. And that's what we're all trying to do, really. But life is more than just survival. Life can be about how to flourish, how to really have a great life, because this is it, right? This is all we have. And I think the best way to have a good life, the best way to flourish in life, I hope I'm saying that correctly, Flour flourish, English is, English is not my first language, is to find your purpose. And I think I got lucky. You know, I know I did. I went to college for computer science. I wanted to get a PhD because I you know, taught myself to code in C by myself from a book and from Steve Summit's FAQ on the C programming language. I have no idea who he is. It's a very old website based on Usenet posts. Very old stuff. <laughs> very, very old. And then I accidentally discovered mathematics. I failed the entrance, ex entrance exam, the math portion. They put me in remedial math classes and I scored a 100% on my first test. And I thought, wow, I'm actually pretty good at this. And then I just kept going. Eventually switched to math, <laughs> taught for several years, loved teaching. And that's where I found my purpose. It, it, Math is part of it, but it's more than that. It's people. And the fact is, and this is, I'm pretty sure this is a proven fact. Most people will find their purpose by helping others. Helping others is one of the most rewarding things, I'm getting goosebumps, you can do. You know, when I, when I get emails, when people email me all the time, every day I get emails. I had an amazing one today. Amazing email today. Ah, so good. So good. That brings me joy. And I think that's what makes people happy, right? Helping others. So that's how you can live your life better, I think. So if you're looking for meaning in life, if you're trying to find out, you know, what, how can I be happy? A lot of people search for happiness. I don't know if that's a good way to live life. I'm not saying it isn't. I just, I'm going to say I don't know. I'm going to say I don't know. I, I'm not convinced. I think a better way to live life is to find something that brings you meaning. Something that makes you feel good. Not just like, oh, I'm going to go eat pizza because it tastes good. Or, oh, I'm going to go, you know, drink beer because it makes me feel good. No, no, no. Something that brings you meaning. Something where you, you feel like, yes, I've done something good. I've, I've created something. I've, I've helped someone in some way. I've touched someone's life. I've made an impact. Teaching. Teaching is a really good example of something where people can find meaning. I love teaching. I love to, it's so much fun. You, know, you get in front of the class, you've got people who are there to learn. It's like their minds are open, just like Paul Erdos used to say. Paul Erdos was a, was a famous Hungarian mathematician, brilliant genius. And you have all these people who are just there, not just to learn math, but 
to improve their lives, right? These people go to college because they want to improve their lives. And so teachers are in a position where they're able to present ideas and information to people who are trying to change their lives. How great is that? What a great place to be if you want to have an impact, right? Being a teacher, even in middle school or high school. I mean, sure, there's bureaucracy probably. I'm sure there is. I've never taught at that level, but I've heard stories and sure you get bad kids and discipline problems, but you're able to influence people and change people's lives. And for me, that, that is my purpose. And I think most people find purpose in that way. There's other purposes. There's different people that have different personalities and they can find purpose in different ways. But it's harder than you think. It's harder than you think. A big challenge I always hear from people is, you know, it's hard to find something that is meaningful where you can also make a living. And that's one of the, the hard truths. Many times, like, let's just talk about teaching. If you wanted to be a teacher and, and you didn't have the credentials, you'd probably have to make a sacrifice. And that would involve, you know, going back to school or something like that. Look how pretty, beautiful that is. So yeah, finding your purpose is a big one. Once you find it, once you find your purpose, I think, I think your life gets better. I think it changes. Yeah. I'd be curious to see what people here have as a purpose. You know, if you're watching this video and you're still watching, leave a comment. Because I think that when you leave a comment and you talk about your purpose, it can inspire people and help people who are also looking for meaning in life. So don't chase happiness. Don't chase comfort. That, that's, I, I don't believe in that. Chase growth, chase purpose, chase meaning. Find something that brings you meaning. And I, I say don't chase comfort because comfort, it's temporary. You're always gonna be searching for comfort. Usually things that have meaning are hard. And when you get used to doing hard things all the time, it just, it just makes you stronger. There's this, there's this guy, he's a, he's a runner, he's a machine. His name is, his name is David Goggins. He always talks about how you should do hard things every day and that makes you stronger. And he, he finds, he finds satisfaction in the, in the struggle and the pain which is pretty interesting. I like this guy because he's real. He's not just like, you know, I don't even think he has a YouTube channel. You know, he's real. He speaks the truth, which a lot of people don't, but he's right. When you do hard things, my friends, it makes you stronger. Stay strong.